What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Cody Rhodes quits AEW to join WWE by Polana Productions. I've been seeing some more people uh, talk about it on YouTube in my sub box, man. You guys were talking about it on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you know, I found out the news earlier this morning that you know him and his uh, his wife they left AEW, but then there were some reports saying that he there was he's in talks with joining wwe again and i'm just like yo what the hell is going on today in the world of wrestling like i just i can't fathom cody rose leaving wwe to pursue something that you know is the body the embodiment of wrestling for him to start up AEW with tony khan and others to like really get that going to only a few years later leave that said company to potentially go back to WWE where, to be honest with you, I just don't think they treated the Rhodes family with the utmost respect like they should have. Like, they, they you know, they appreciated them for what they've done for WWE, but I just don't feel like they really, you know, like, I guess you could say treated them with the the proper respect you would think that family deserves in my personal opinion in my personal opinion they it it, it just never seemed like they got the, the the true proper respect like cody and dustin has gotten in aew that's just my personal opinion um but i could be wrong there but we'll see uh what polana productions has to say about this man it should be an interesting one Let's get right into this one. This is a crazy one, man. You read that title correctly. Cody Rhodes has officially left AEW after releasing a statement on his Twitter account that is now AEW's community outreach account as well. I don't know. I still don't know why he deactivated his account just to give it to AEW. If I was him though, I would be like, no, give me that account back right now. It is still under my ad. It is my name. Give it back. If there's a million followers, you don't want to lose on that clout. You know what I mean? Anyways, in his statement, he went on to thank a bunch of people, including Tony Khan, mm -hmm. Brandy, obviously his wife was second, the original elite members, the Warner Bros executives, and a bunch of different different wrestlers that he mm -hmm. trained over the course of his time with AEW. Since then, Dave Meltzer has been able to provide some more details on the situation that gives some more clear indication on what exactly actually happened. He tweeted this, The Cody Brandy split with AEW happened yesterday. The two sides didn't come to terms on a new deal after six weeks. Mm. There's a lot more to read into this. In our show last night, we talked about the different issues, but it could legally be on WWE TV at any time. Interestingly enough, wow. he also replied to a comment asking if Tony Khan should have appropriated the money into re-signing Cody Rhodes rather than signing new talent. Melter replied with this, it is a sign that they're sticking to a budget, which was clear in other negotiations. It seems like Cody and Tony Khan really just couldn't agree on the amount of money he deserved for a new contract. Hmm, that's that's kind of kind of what some people were saying that it, it really just boils down to the money that he was trying to get and the money that Tony Khan was able to you know offer up. And you know, some people are saying, well, this is what happens when you get all these other talents. You got to pay them, and this is true. But at the same time, it's like. It's, it's one of those things where some people are like, well, Cody, don't you have enough money? You're like, you know what I'm saying? You can't take a little bit of a pay cut to stay on AEW. So, I, once again, this is someone else's life. This is their livelihood. I'm not here to judge anybody's pockets, man. You you know, if you know your worth, you, you're you not selling for a certain price. I can't tell you to say, nah, don't do it. Stay in AEW. Take that pay cut. If that's something you want to do. I'm all for it, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of times we get caught up in, in pocket watching. You know, these deals ain't thousands of dollars. We're talking million-dollar contracts. And for someone that, you know, feels like they're they're worth that, if they want that, they should they should be able to get it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not harping on that, but at the same time, I also understand some people's like you know concern or like well maybe just take a pay cut to stay where we know you love to be at instead of potentially going back over to wwe because wwe has plenty of money to throw away 
I'm just be honest with you guys. They have money to throw away if they wanted to. So they can offer up Cody whatever number he thinks of in his head times two if they really wanted to. So I don't know. It's That's just a wild. I never would have thought so soon that we would be talking about Cody leaving AEW. Rhodes was probably asking for more than what Khan could offer because of all the money he's been spending. As we know, AEW has been in the negative for quite some time now, and they've signed so many wrestlers since... Wow, AEW in the, in the red financially? Damn. Then, which means I mean, that that they are most year, likely losing know. even more money now. That seems to be sure a huge mistake in my still, opinion. But damn, that's crazy. Cody Rhodes isn't somebody that you just lose to the competitors and you let him walk away, especially for AEW. The man has been a key piece to the company's success. All Elite Wrestling needed Cody Rhodes a lot more than they think. He was easily one of their biggest stars despite them not really booking him as one. He cut some of the best promos. He scouted indie wrestlers and then trained them before making their debut to the company. He did a lot of media work for AEW. He was expanding the value of his name outside of wrestling Which so there doing. would be more eyes on the brand. And don't forget about Brandy Rhodes who was a part of the marketing team. As you can see, Cody and Brandy were a very important part of AEW. Unlike the other signings, he was an all-around guy outworking everybody. To let him go seems very bizarre. However, according to Dave's reply to the other tweet, it seems like AEW is really sticking to their budget to avoid losing more money. But mm. even then, Tony Khan, this was a rookie mistake. You should have made sure to keep Cody Rhodes as one of your top priorities. With this breaking news, what does this mean for Cody Rhodes? What is next for his career? Well, a report broke out that stated that WWE is already interested in bringing him back. The WWE has been aware of the situation for the last few days I'm sure and has been have. in contact with Cody Rhodes. If AEW could not meet the amount he wanted for his next contract, I am sure that WWE mm -hmm. will be able to do so because they made a billion dollars last year and are actually profitable. Adri That's the crazy thing about WWE. We may, we may not like their on television program as much, but they're making the most money they have ever made. Deadass. The ratings may not show it, but everything else they have their product in, they're making bank, which is always bullshit when they say, oh, we let people go because of budget reasons. That's bullshit. They're making money. They probably made more money during the pandemic than a lot of people realize. Let me just be honest with you. Adrian Zarian has confirmed that Cody Rhodes' camp has been in contact with the WWE officials. Sean Ross Sapp also then reported that WWE knew about this and was even aware of when the statement would be released this morning. All signs are pointing to Cody Rhodes signing a contract with WWE. This would make him one of the first top AEW wrestlers to leave and join WWE. I really think it is going to happen. It's going to be very interesting to see how Vince McMahon books him. If I'm WWE and I just got Cody Rhodes, I would treat him like the star that he is. Rhodes is in the prime of his career right now and is better than most people in WWE. The company this has the opportunity insane. to make him a main event player. He's got to win the world championship in my opinion. It's also important to show other AEW guys that WWE wants that they can also be successful in WWE despite AEW making it seem like it is career suicide. This means that people like Wardlow, MJF, and Jade would want to sign with them when their contracts are up. This Cody Rhodes story is so big and I cannot wait this to is see wild. it unfold. It is definitely the beginning of a huge change we should see from both companies moving forward. And for the first time in a long time, I even want to make a what if video on Cody Rhodes returning to WWE. This is exciting stuff. And as I was finishing the video, guys, I just saw a tweet from Russell Votes, who wow. is a very credible source, stating that he knows a source that says that they fully anticipate Cody Rhodes signing with WWE. Jesus. I say it is definitely going to happen. Thank wow, bro. This is insane. Wow. I, I mean, here's my thing. Would I want to see Cody in WWE? Possibly. I know. Hear me out. Hear me out before some of y'all be like, yo, why would you? Possibly only if they did right by him. But once again, we're talking about WWE here. And we have seen them bring some individuals back 
weeks and you think that you know they'll do bite by them for a little bit few weeks maybe a couple months and then they'll start booking them in ridiculous situations that make no sense and ultimately kill their character we've seen it before it has happened remember what happened with the whole broken matt hardy gimmick and how it had so much promise and they butchered it they messed that up it, it didn't it didn't work like it should have you remember that and the same thing here with cody man cody left wwe he was able to revitalize his career and really put the Rhodes family name back where it belonged in a lot of wrestling fans' eyes. He revitalized his career, put him, built himself back up. Of course, he's a hot commodity in the wrestling community. All right, cool. WWE could throw him a big contract and maybe utilize him for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, he starts, you know, getting booked horribly. So it's, it's, that's the thing, man. It's like, I would love to see him booked like a, tro a true champion. Who wouldn't want to see Cody Rose as a WWE champion? Or the Universal Champion or something like that. Like, but preferably the WWE Champion. Who wouldn't want to see that? Who wouldn't want to see Cody Rose promos with, with Roman Reigns? I think that would be fucking entertaining as hell. But once again... It's WWE we're talking about. Cody Rose has changed. His demeanor, his character, how he moves, how he presents himself, he's changed. WWE is still the same WWE before he left. Only thing is now they're richer. That's it. So that's my only thing is like, I don't want him to go back to a situation where he ultimately left to better himself. Now he's going back to the situation, to the place where you know how they go. You know how things are. You know how it is. So I don't know, man. I'm 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 kind of I'm 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 at a I'm at a a middle point right here. I would want him. I would want to see it because of the potential matchups and him potentially being a world champion, finally being a WWE champion. I would love to see that. But at the same time, I don't trust Vince. I don't trust their their creative team to do right by him. I, I can see them butchering him within a couple of months. And it would just be a waste of everybody's time. And then it would kind of go back on everything that Cody has built and, and how he's moved. Now, get it. He's made some jobs at WWE. Oh, he definitely has. And, you know... It's part of the business. I'm sure they, they're able to let bygones be bygones. But I just I just don't think that would be... I don't think it's the the best idea. But at the same time, I, I would still be intrigued. That's that's the situation I'm in right now. I would, I would be intrigued, but I don't think it's the best idea. I don't think he should do it. Only because of how WWE's creative team is, it is it's not that good. I'm just being honest with you. Now, if their creative team was better, go ahead. Do it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I can see them doing it. I can see them trying to bring him in right before WrestleMania or at WrestleMania. I can see them doing it. I, knew, I can see them doing it because it's WWE. And they got all the money in the world. And they want this year's WrestleMania to be super memorable. And that would be memorable if he did make an appearance right after leaving AEW. But at the same time, I just I, I just don't trust WWE. I don't trust them to do right by Cody Rhodes at all. At all. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think he should do. Do you guys think he should pursue other endeavors and not go to WWE, WWE go back? Or do you guys think he should go back to WWE? And if he does go back to WWE, who do you think he should feud with? Who do you think should be the first person he actually feuds with? Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to Sandy K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.